God, I don't think there's anyone in the furry fandom who has the shorter end of the stick than artists, am I right? For those of you who uh, may not be in the know, I used to be something of an artist myself. Granted, I was not a good one, but I was one. And I think that's all that counts here. And in my brief stint as an artist, I have seen what I thought was everything. I have seen people, you know, saying work for exposure. I've seen people saying, do you take requests when asking for commissions? Y you think you see everything, but this particular tweet that I saw across my fucking timeline really took the cake because I ain't never seen anything like this. I'm sure many of you watching have already seen this uh, this little fiasco on the uh, the original tweet that this came out on. I mean, it got a little bit of attention, just a, just a smidge. It uh, got a little bit of traction there. I mean, it's it's something of a big deal, you know. Well, as both a commentary YouTuber and a drama YouTuber, I don't have an original bone in my body, so I'm going to talk about this for a little while. So from what I gather, whoever the hell sent this note was apparently pissed off at the gender of this artist's character. <laughs> I'm not joking. That's legitimately what's, what, they're, what they're pissed off about. And they're demanding, not asking, demanding that this person change their character's gender. I wish I could make this up. Let's just give this note a little bit of a read, shall we? I have been a loyal follower of your page for almost a year, and have been under the impression that your character, specifically the rabbit, was a female. However, recent revelations have forced me to come into the open and make this account to commune with you. Jesus Christ, he's acting like it's a fucking like seance here. We're trying to communicate. <laughs> We're trying to commune with the artist. <laughs> oh, fucking. Oh, that's amazing. I love this. We're off to a good start. <laughs> Witness my account. <laughs> Upon seeing the gifts you have purchased for your boyfriend, an imperial pox on oneself for not reading context, like with Mandy. I realized that you were a homophile, which would in turn mean that your rabbit character is a male. Look, Look I don't know what kind of role-playing you guys are into, but count me out. <laughs> I am incredibly displeased at this fact. First most, Vor is generally known as a female exclusive power. Female predators make up a large amount of all predator characters, thus my assumption. Secondly, I have spent a grand time using your images for the sake of honoristic practices? And I am feeling extraordinary shame for having practiced honorism not only to someone of my male gender, but also to the art of a homophile. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't think any of those words mean what he thinks they mean. I'm, I'm just going to move past it. For the sake of my own sanity and your time, I'm going to move past that for now. Third most, your character and yourself is known in my view now as an outlier. Something strange that must be corrected with imperative. Holy shit, this dude is going full on Tron here, I love it. Therefore, I am commanding you to change the gender of your character to female. I realize this command is one that you, as a homophile with limited reasoning skills, may not understand. <laughs> Therefore, I shall present my reasons as to why you should do this. Oh, he's about to cross his arms, he's gonna go big brain sicko mode on this bitch. Let's watch. First, it shall put one of your most loyal watchers' fears, doubts, and turning night terrors to absolute rest. Holy fuck, this guy's actually having night terrors over the gender of this person's persona. That's actually incredible. Secondly, your works would get significantly more views, as the audience for homophile and male predators is exceedingly dim and tiny. Uh, citation needed on that one, I guess. But what, what even is a fucking homophile? I don't even know what this person's trying to use that word to mean, but uh, maybe he means homosexual, but like he just doesn't recognize it. I don't fucking know. I'm not, I'm not gonna get into that one. Thirdly, it would help to establish Vor as a female exclusive power to your watchers, many of whom I now suspect to be nothing more than homophile communist infiltrators. <laughs> this would turn tides not only in the fandom, but in the world, as more people turn to the right side the right side. Holy shit, he just made this super political, like, in a hurry. It went from just being uncomfortable and having night terrors to now being a big political stand against communism. Holy crap. Consider my petition wisely, Legomorph. I have an exceedingly sharp wit, and if you do not take this request lightly, then I shall be forced to debate you on this matter. Okay, this guy has to be trolling now. He has to be. He fucking has to be. And believe me, you do not want to debate me. I am unparalleled in intellect, reasoning, and wit, and have not been mind-changed on a point once, either by my kin or by people of the communist side. 
TikTok. So I'm fairly certain this dude was trolling, um, but there was actually a follow-up to this story. They sent another note after this note leaked onto places like Reddit and Twitter, and uh, we're gonna look at that one too, because it's this is this is amazing. I never want him to stop. So this one was sent on uh, April 3rd, just like about a couple days ago. So we're gonna we're gonna read that now. I am incredibly disappointed in you. Not only have you broadcast this note of personal confidence to the world at large, not only have you put me out at my utterly weakest, but you treat me with such flippant disregard that you cannot even muster an intellectual reply to me? I deserve much better. Yes, that is what you deserve. The man commanding people to change their genders <laughs> for your own desires is you deserve better. That is correct. I am in full agreement. That is, yes. An acquaintance of mine showed me the correspondence between us <laughs> that you had besmirched to an account dedicated to creepy, crazy, and bizarre furry messages. Besmirched. I like that. I like that a lot. And I like that he's pulling out the big expensive words like correspondence. Like, bro, it's a fucking note on Fur Affinity. Calm the main down a tad, okay, Turbo? Is this how you treat your following? The people who look up to you and give you nothing but paternal, wise advice? Yes, wise advice like change your fucking gender because I am uncomfortable with your gender. That makes sense. <laughs> this dude, holy shit. If he's not fucking trolling, then he's the most entitled and fucking outside his gourd son of a bitch I've ever seen. You think they are creepy, crazy, and bizarre? Yes. Abomination. You are abomination to a high degree. You aren't an artist. You yourself admitted that you broke your wrist coloring, which is an unbelievably feat of weakness on your part. You are merely an art harlot who scrounges for requests and other unscrupulous methods of acquiring art. Harlot. I like that. We've gone from, from being somebody that, that was admired to now just being a whore. I like it. You are not an author, your reply being less than 20 words. If anything, you are creepy, crazy, and bizarre. Okay, dude, I, I really hope this guy is actually trolling, because if he's not, I think there might be a few little, a uh, few demons living in his head that I hope he's getting some help for. Uh, I think he needs a fucking therapist or an exorcist or fucking whatever. Creepy, you share extremely personal notes, wherein someone bears their soul to you at their utmost <laughs> weakness, fleeting and innocent. Innocent, okay, that's a... Uh, I think, no, I'm not gonna... Crazy. Homophilia. Need I say more? Invertebrae? Wait, <laughs> invertebrae? Inver <laughs> invertebrae. Okay, um, bizarre. I do not even like you, ra like you rabbit character. They look like- <laughs> they look to be a squirrel. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? And as for your question about Mandy, they were a female that I adored but I could not read subtext in their words, and realized much too late when I had confessed to her, in the view of a large gathering, that she was a sapphic homophile, a pain which has struck me forever since. Like, wh what? What? I think it, what? I don't even know. Okay, moving on. You have disgraced yourself in front of me. But in my mercy, I shall grant you a single chance. Either change the gender of your persona, or I shall sally forth into debating you. <laughs> you shall not change my mind, may I remind you. I am giving you 72 hours. The clock has been set. The Rubicon is crossed. Uh, fuck, that's a bunch of words I don't fucking understand. You know, it's... it's weird. Also, what he was responding to was, Sorry, dude, I can't draw myself a female form. The last time I tried coloring in the lines, I broke my wrist. Also, who is Mandy? I'm gonna, I'm gonna level with you guys. This dude's about... He's either trolling or he is 50 pounds of yikes in a 3-pound bag, I swear to god. Like, he's... This, this magnificent bastard here, if he's not a fucking troll, then he is just... Oh, God, it is, he is the holy grail of autism, and I, <laughs> I swear to God, I hope he never stops doing this. I hope we hear from this man again. Oh, I swear. Oh, anyway. For those of you getting to this point in the video, I appreciate you watching all the way to the end. My social media links are down below, as is the Discord server uh, for my channel. You know, drop in, say hello. I'll probably say something or two things and then probably vanish for the next 50 million years because I don't talk in my Discord server for reasons that I've never explained. Um, so, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later.